laugh. You laugh. Say we laugh. Say and we laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait for some people to get off in here. And then I'm putting you out of my room, slobber boy. Your buddy is here. Your buddy is here. He got a little cold. Oh, look at him. He got allergies and cold. Cold baby. Say, I'm here. Hey, Angela. Say, hey. she's speaking to Zane. Y'all always speak to Zane and not me when Zane is here. <laughs> Wave. She said, hi, Zane. Wave. Say hi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I heard them shrunk because it's just raining and raining and raining. <laughs> Why you, you being goofy? Are we going to open some bags or what? We got so much to show. So much. Yeah, I need Thrifters Anonymous. But it was just such good things I just had to get. I can't pass up shoes and purses because that's what sells for me so far. Because I haven't posted too many clothing items, so I, hopefully I'll start. I get them posted. I got a rack. Luckily, I got one of those good racks that I found at the thrift store. I got one of those today, so I'm gonna get my rest of my stuff hung up and put up now. Because those up two little raggedy racks I've been having with crap and was falling over. Then I got that one good rack from Goodwill, and it held a lot of stuff. And I found another one like it today, so hopefully to hold that stuff that's gonna fall on those other racks. But I have a lot of stuff. I ain't even get all bags off the floor because he's busy, busy, busy. Say, I'm busy, busy, busy. Slobbing all on the look at him. See, that's why. Doing stuff like this. That's why his top is slobbing up. I told my son to find one of his builds. Oh, look at him. He, he just being silly today. <laughs> you got so much to say. Say hi, subbies. Say hi, subbies. Up now he wants to touch the computer. He's mad because I won't. You're not gonna touch the computer. No computer for you. No computer. He been in the house all day. That's why he got shorts on. Cause it's been cool here for the past few days. It was warm. It was in the 80s and 90s just five days ago, and then the past four days, four just been cold. It's in the 50s today and raining here in Kentucky. So he's been in the house. So he just has shorts on and just. Comfortable because he got a little cold, so he's had to come, be comfortable and stay in the house today. Okay, now you want for us. You gonna say bye bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. You gonna show them you could say one, two, three? Say one, two. What's, what's the last one? <laughs> See, what? You playing with your slob. One, two. What's the last one? What is it? Come on. One, two. Yay! Three. <laughs> say, I say three. Clap. L'Oreal, come get him. He wants to go back in there with you. He Oh, you want your bottle. I thought you wanted to go back in there. You don't want this bottle. He's right throw it. I ain't giving that him that. I know. I do tell a story. I know. I said I was still going to thrift purses and shoes. I said that. I shouldn't be. I really need to be done now because I ain't bought my plane tickets yet and I need to get them tomorrow. But I'm getting sales, so that's the good thing. I said if I didn't get no more sales, that I was going to stop thrifting, Nisha. That's why you don't pay attention. And I couldn't thrift as much if I don't get sales, but I'm getting sales on my Poshmark. I'm going to put that in the description. La La B42 on Poshmark. Check it out. Yeah, I got 200 and like 70 something listings up. <laughs> hey, I ain't going to stop as long as I keep making money. <laughs> Shoot, why would I stop if I'm making money from the money I'm spending? I ain't making a profit yet, but it's going. you got to build your store up to get the profit. So I'm building my store up. I am building it up, hoping to get hit, hit 300 something listings soon because I, I got to post all this stuff that I got today. Laurel, are you in the bathroom? Oh, you got to wait till he comes out of the bathroom. So calm down. Calm it on down. 
calm and all down. He's in the bathroom. Can he use the bathroom? Slobber boy, snotty boy. You just sneeze. Let me get this tissue. Ugh. Get your nasty snotty nose, baby. He's go. He'll be out. <laughs> this is the shirt that I thrifted. Remember, this comfortable shirt is so comfortable. It feels like a teddy bear. I feel like a human teddy bear. He told him. So I'm at real. And uh, these jeans were thrifted too. We got whole thrifted outfit of the day. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so comfortable. It's like I'm wearing a blanket. That was supposed to be your gift. I said it was your gift. <laughs> you just thought it was going to be a gift. This is my comfortable, nice little sh comfortable shirt. But I said it says love. I said it should say love sucks. <laughs> Pardon my bitterness. He will be out. This boy is busy. I'm trying to, okay, let's start showing him some stuff, okay? You want to start showing him some stuff? I wanted to get the rest of those bags down there, but uh, he wants to talk. But this is what, some of this up here is what I thrifted today. Today. And the color is red today, but I didn't get too many clothes. The half off was red today. Red, but look at this cute. I got another one of these. Remember, I had a brown and white one, or have y'all seen that brown and white one? I think I showed y'all that, or maybe not. Maybe it's coming in this stuff down here. But yeah, I got a this one's really cute. This Vera Bradley right here. This is I love this one. I think it's a sell fast. Hey Martha, I think this one will sell real fast. It just says Vera Bradley on that little ring, and it goes around just like that brown one did. And then the interior, look at that. This is really cute. This is the best looking Vera Bradley that I get. I have thrifted because I really like it. And of course, it's the interior. But yeah, this is nice. And it's going to go on my posh tonight. It's going to get up. And some of this stuff that I'm going to show that is down there, I've already posted on my posh. Had to get it on up. And so I've been getting like, like look at it, like old vintage stuff. Because I might be going to resell some of this stuff too. Because I got this for $1.99 today. And it's just a cute little, I don't know if it's crystal. Let's see. I just know it's very vintage, like the 80s. Mikasa. Mikasa. Little, it's a like a leaf, I guess. Let me open it up. Let me open it up. Hey, Nana. Hey, Sanjuana. And I already spoke to Nisha and uh, Angela. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up the video. So let's see. I hope it's in one piece. I should have looked at it before. I, oh, yeah. It even still has the price tag on it. New with tag. This thing was not even used from the 80s. It's a diamond, Mikasa diamond fire plate. A leaf plate. So that's kind of, that's cute. Just a cute little leaf plate. Brand new from like the 80s because you could tell by this box. So I'm going to look that up. See if that's like a collector's thing. I just saw a lot of stuff today they had because they was putting Christmas stuff out and they had a lot of Halloween, but they had a lot of Christmas -y stuff and some of that Christmas stuff. I'm like, you got collectors. I can probably resell some of this stuff and make some money. Now, nah, don't be thumbs down to me. I don't have to be fretting. If I got a Poshmark store, then I got a thrift. When I say I'm not going to thrift, it means I shouldn't be thrifting. But, hey, I got to get this store. This store's trying to pop and I got to make money. Got to do what you got to do. Then I got my son this. It was $9.99 at Marshall's. So you know it's worth more than that if it was $9.99 at Marshall's. But it's just a Jones New York uh, silk tie. And it is silk. But yeah, Jones New York. And it says 100% silk on something on one of these things. So I go. I can find it. All that little bitty tag on it. No. Stop. He's going to have to come get you. He need to help him get out of that bathroom. He must be blowing it up. Say what he's doing is ain't blowing it up. <clears throat> Can't find the where it says it. It says it because I saw it. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah, he saw it too. Oh, down here. 100% silk. Well, I can't see that. There it goes. He's moving. I'm trying to say still, but he's moving. See, he's making me move. But 100% silk tie. 
I, I got that for my son, or I might sell it on my posh if you don't want it. Because I, I already got some silk ties on my posh, some Brooks Brothers ties, I think they are, on my posh. So they can go too. They can go on there too. So, this stuff back in the that ain't your dad, dad. <laughs> Y'all gonna be thinking that's <laughs> he called everybody dad, dad. Talk about dad, dad. <laughs> dad, dad. <laughs> Say, bra, bra. Make him your bra, bra. What you gonna make him? He ain't your dad, dad. <laughs> he called him dad, dad, too. Is that your god, daddy? That's your god, daddy. Make him your god, daddy, then. Yes, he called him dad, dad. He called everybody. But I said, like I said, he called everybody dad, dad. If, you know, babies only have one word they be known. Cause I ain't no grandmama, no sir, no sir, no I'm not, no ma'am, no sir. Put this down here. See how discombobulated I am trying to hold him and do this. <laughs> oh, make sure you wave to all the new people. That, make sure you wave to all the new people that came in here. Say hi. <laughs> he said hi to all the new people. <laughs> I just got one of these. I just got this put in the living room. It's just one of those things you put on the arm of the couch, arm of a chair, arm of something, or arm armrest organizer. Here. Yeah. You gone. He's gone. Now I can get this on. Now I can get this on. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, San Juana. You be blessed too. Thank you. And make sure you thumbs up on your way out. And, uh, yeah, I just got that armrest thing. Because it was a dollar ninety nine. Dollar So why not? Because I think these cost at least 10 bucks, if not more. So I got this. $1.99. And it's still in the freaking bag. Not well, it could have been open because this is open. But I don't think it was used. No, it don't look like it was used. It wasn't after this thing wasn't you. Somebody probably got it for Christmas and I already had one. So I got that and put that in the living room since my son's in the living room more now since he's not in school. Messing up my couch. And now I gotta just messing up my couch and stuff. I gotta wash right use that resolve where he's making a mess. That living room is staying just fine. It's still neat, but it ain't Got to scrub off some, because I got microfiber couch or whatever. So, you know, that collects things easy. Um, this little bag. I saw this little bag. Let's see what that is. Uh, Lena. I don't know if y'all can see that. My terrible counter camera. Well, on there you can. A Lena bag. Uh, Lena or Lina. I don't know. And it has two little tags. This, this one has a little flower on it, which is, I guess, the symbol. And then that one has the flower and the name. And that's the zipper. This one's the zipper, and that's just a tag. And I figured this was a I don't I never seen this brand, but I guess like, this looks like this is some kind of quality. I can fix the little uh it, the strap out of this stuff. I can cut those with threads off her. But then I looked it up, and these are uh I think they were sold at like Nordstrom's or something when I looked it up, or Macy's, one of those places. I think it was Nordstrom's. I said I knew this little bag was worth something because they were selling it on Poshmark for like 40 bucks. This little bag. I said, okay, I'm glad I was smart enough to, to look. But I grabbed it before I even looked because I was like, it's a little bag. Look like this might be worth something. And it is. It's a Lina, Lena, whatever you call it. But yeah. And it's brown, not doo doo brown, chocolate brown. People don't think you got a mental problem, which you do, Nisha Watson, if you always say silly stuff when you come in here, because you do got a mental problem. Then they got this. I didn't notice it had a little signature on it. What's it say, though? Aston Court? And Antoine Court? I don't know what this thing says, but it has a little signature. I just thought this was pretty. Isn't this pretty? Look at this thing. And I got it for myself. I'm putting it in that room, in the closet room. $3.99. I guess it's a candle holder. That's what I figured it was. It holds the candles this way. So how cute is this? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go this way. I just thought it was adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable for $3.99. And it has some kind of signature. Like I said, I don't know. I can and a date. A date. 
on there or something on there. It says, let's say 1999. I think it says 1999. But it looks like it's, I don't know, I'll let y'all see that. If y'all can see that signature. I don't know. But yeah, that's the little signature. But it's an adorable little candle holder or whatever. So yeah, that will be in my studio room. Adorable. And then I got these shoes. Because I saw these shoes. I was like, these shoes look like they are not cheap. They look like they could be a little brand, and these sell for like 25, 25 bucks on Poshmark. So they're like $50, $60 shoes, $60 flip flops. I got up for $3.99. Of course, all shoes are $3.99, but they're volatile. That's the brand, volatile. Volatile, how you pronounce how you pronounce it, volatile. And they're in great condition. Look at that. Awesome condition. So I'm trying to sell these for about 25 bucks, 20 bucks on Posh, something like that. Like everybody else was. That's that. This is the stuff that I got today, as I told you. Take what on my trip. My office is silver and black, white. Take those on my trip. Oh, those flip. Nah, I got plenty of flip flops for the trip. I don't even think those are my size. I'm selling them. I'm going to sell them on Posh, but I don't know. They might be my size. What size are these? I meant to tell y'all that size nine. So I could probably wear them because they size nine or nine and a half, ten. Size nine. So they'll be on my Posh. Hopefully tonight I'll get them posted. La La B42, y'all. La La B42. That's my Poshmore closet. And then I got this. Look at this cute thing. It reminded me of something like from India or something. Look at that. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And I got that to go in that room, too. It has a little chip now. I don't know if that was on there or if it's just happened. Because I don't remember call that being on there. But maybe it would have got a little chip right here. I think this happened in this bag. Oh, well. Darn it. Got to be more careful with stuff. I don't. Think, I would have saw that in the store. And I did not. I don't know. Maybe it was there. I just didn't see it because I thought this was just so pretty. But that, yeah, that's then this blue is the color blue in my wall of my walls in that room. So I'm like, yeah, that'd be good in that room. And I can put, you know, people put like rings and uh, their bracelets and stuff on these little things. So I'll put the stuff that I'm going to sell, a little ring, some of those on there from, that I've gotten from my jewelry jar. And then I got these. I looked these up as well. This little channel set. I just thought it was cute and it would be cute when I do like a tablescape. Not my fall. I don't know if I'm going to use these in my fall tablescape. Probably not, but like a Christmas or Easter or something. These would be cute. And they were 99 cents. And I looked this these up and they are supposed to be more than that. This is a Golden Beauty by Stetson. 22 karat gold, I guess, paint oh, is used on them. But yeah, that's what this set part part of a 21 piece set. Seven pieces of a 21 piece set. Somebody had the whole 21 piece set and they were selling it for like $300, $350. $350. But this is seven pieces. And then there were some they were just selling for like 35 like 12 pieces of the twin set was 35 but this is seven pieces and I got it for $7 because they were 99 cents each for the saucers and the little bowls. Too bad I don't have four. They didn't have four bowls though. They had four saucers, but it's just it's just cute. So I just got it to use as a, on the tablescape. One of my tablescapes. <laughs> then I got these. I did get some pants for myself. These Nike. I got these Nike Fit, Dry Fit, Live Strong, which I didn't see that to just now. And that's good because you know my mom passed away of cancer. So Live Strong, yeah, I definitely like that. I can have some Live Strong with Nike draft fits for myself. And these $2, $2 pants. These are full-length pants, size medium. As y'all know, I'm wearing to work out a little bit for this Jamaica trip. And hopefully in Jamaica, because I'm be eating a lot in Jamaica. So hopefully yeah, wherever I stay is close to a gym or has a gym. And then I bought these for my Poshmark, y'all. Some nice little Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Petite, 10, size 10 petite pants and dry clean only because they're 
77% wool, 9% nylon, and 4% spandex. But there's some really cute dress pants, and they have this little cut V cut in the back. It's house made. And they're pre creased. Look at them. Pre creased. I guess they come like that so you don't have to crease them. Shoot. And you get them dry clean so you don't have to worry about ever ironing these pants. And they stretch. They have a little stretch to them. They're very cute. So they will be on my Poshmark. But a size 10 petite. And that's what the little strap looks like. I mean, the little buttons. But the buttons got the design print on them. Cute in their black and with like a dark charcoal gray, I guess, black. And then these are for me. Just some little casual, thin, denim-looking pants by Norm Thornton. I looked these up, and these are like $60 pants, so why not? And I just thought they were cute and flowy for, like, the beach. On the day, I want to just be lazy. Lazy day, not trying to be sexy, but I just want to be normal. <laughs> I'll put on the beach, nice and flowy, and just big, like, kulak or capris or whatever you call them, and they have this way, so when I eat, 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 and get big <laughs> while I'm down there in Jamaica, then hey, I'll have something to stretch into. Be on one of my comfortable days to, in Jamaica. I should wear it on the plane ride, but it's going to be so cold here. I'm not going to wear that. I'm leaving to go there. Yes. there. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Hey, no tea party. I don't have no tea. I didn't get no tea cups. That's just the salsas and the plates. And then I got this Brighton bag last week. This is what I got last week. I need to get this posted fast, these Brighton bags. So this is a cute little straw woven. I guess you say woven Brighton bag with patent leather trim around it and little cute little leather braided straps. Uh and oh, I got some glasses in here too. Yeah, these are some guest glasses. Got them for a dollar ninety nine. Of course, they're by guests. Y'all know I love sunglasses, so I'm gonna have all the sunglasses. Just all of. Look at them. Don't they look like some some uh, Gucci or sunglasses? <laughs> and look at the lens. The lens is awesome. So yeah, those are for me. Cause I don't really sell sunglasses on my posh unless if I found some really expensive ones because these wouldn't go probably go for much about ten dollars if they went. I just love sunglasses. Yeah, I like these. I like these. Look at them. I'm gonna have all the sunglasses, y'all. I got so many sunglasses. Now I'm not gonna take this purse. I'm putting this on my posh. I'm selling it. Selling it. Selling it. Selling it. It is my size of a purse, but no, I'm selling it because I don't got enough for myself right now. I need to make make that money. And all these little things say Brighton. Well, do they say it on the inside? Oh, no, they just have the design. They have the little swirly design. I thought one of them said Brighton. No, they just have the swirly design, but the inside says Brighton. Do, 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 do. The leather tag says Brighton. Yeah, it's a hard. Has this inside for your keys or whatever so they don't get lost. Got a little heart attachment there too. So it's cute. And just a blue interior. So this is this will definitely be on my pie. Cute little bag. I thought I saw Brighton on one of these. But anyway, it's Brighton. It will be on my posh. And then I have another Brighton. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up the video. Got another Brighton bag. This one's really cute. Look at that little faux snakes again. I guess it's patent leather. I just need to wipe, shop, wipe off the bottom of it. It's got a long, pretty long strap. So I guess it's like a shoulder bag or could be a crossbody bag. If you want a crossbody bag, either way, it's got a pretty long strap. And the strap's in great condition. And let's see. Look at that little link thing right there. It's nice and it has the swirly swirls and kind of tough metal right here. 
on that. And both of those are fine. With the little swirly swirl. And then the interior is gray, silver, I guess, with flowers. And of course, the leather Brighton tag. So it even has the serial number on it, a serial number on it. So yeah, this will be on my Poshmark as well. Nice little golden yellow mustard color, I guess, bag. So yeah. And I got this, which I'm probably going to try to sell as well because I don't need a Santa Claus, but I looked at, I saw him and I'm like, hmm, this little guy might be a collector's item or something. That's what I was on today. Today I was just on look, looking for collector stuff because they had a lot of collector looking stuff. He was $4.99, $4.99, but he's, look at him, look at this little guy, this Santa. He's very detailed. And look, he has his little leather golf bag with the golf uh, things, and the little Christmas gifts, the golf balls. I mean, it's just very detailed. Very, and even to the shoes, leather little golf shoes with the little ball. I said, this little guy got to be worth more than four ninety nine. dollars Look at him. He's, this is the brand, who it is. Lynn Haney Collection. And it's from 19... 98 and they got a style number and everything and i look these lynn haney thing uh santa's up and some of them are 295 on ebay 195 on ebay some they're in the hundreds on ebay these lynn haney collectors so he's gonna go on ebay this little santa the golf santa is going on ebay and i guess somebody who loves golf and christmas or woman whose husband loves golf and christmas are bad bad or a woman that loves golf from Christmas, she'll bad for herself. But somebody's going, it's going on eBay. He's so soft and cushiony, soft and cushiony. Yeah, hey, uh, living your best life. Zane's here. He was on here earlier. You missed him. He's in there making noise. He'll come back. He'll come back later. Maybe at the end when I get done. But yeah, that, so this is going to be on my eBay. Got this and all that. I wish he still had the box, but hey, probably could be. I could make some, still make some good money on this little thing. Not my eBay, I'm a Poshmark. I'm going to sell it on my Poshmark. People sell it. You can sell anything on Posh. Shoot, he's going on my Posh. What he's going on there. Then I got this old Hallmark ornament that's still in the box. Perfect condition. It's Christmas at home. And I'm sure this probably is worth something as well. The date on this one, it was $1.99. It has a date on here. Let's see what the date is. Yeah, 1980. 1980, y'all. Y'all know this little ornament is worth something. And y'all know if this is from 1980. I was five years old in 1980. This little ornament, and it's in perfect condition. It's worth something. <laughs> you going to buy it. It's going on my posh. And it says, a home that's filled with Christmas glows with the joyful light of the special warmth of happiness that makes the season bright. So it's a little poem on it. Christmas, and it says Christmas 1980 on this uh, part. Christmas 1980. And the poem's on that side. So this will be on my posh. Dollar ninety nine. I know this is worth. I didn't even look this up because I seen nineteen eighty. I said, "Ooh, this is worth." So I know this is worth something from Hallmark from nineteen eighty. And then I got this little cute little ornament. Thank you. It's my little teddy bear. I feel like a teddy bear. I feel like a human teddy bear. Too bad I don't have nobody to cuddle with. But anyway. <laughs> Got this little angel. It's a pure. I saw it. This is the top part of the box. I saw it and I was like, hmm, is that worth anything? Is that it's a pure one imports angel? So I'm like, oh, pure one. And it's in cute shape, nice condition ornament. So it's probably be on my tree. It's like, looks like it's hand painted too. This little uh, angel. 
beautiful little angel. So that'll be um, one of my ornaments. Like, like I got a pure one. Like I went to pure one and got an ornament. Oh, there's his golf puck. It must have fell out of his hand. He got the he got the golf puck too. Let me put that back in his hand. I didn't know that fell out. I don't know which hand it goes in. Where does it go? I have to figure that out. It didn't go in that hand. Hmm. Where does this golf puck go? It says birdie too. Look at the golf puck. It even has a name on it. It says birdie. Cool. Yeah, I got to remember where this goes. It doesn't go in this bag because these are all little tiny golf pucks. So where would this be in this hand? It goes in this hand, I think. Yeah, I think that's where it goes. He holds it in that hand. Yeah, I think somehow his hand's supposed to hold it, though. I don't know, y'all. Oh, there's some glue or something. So I think it's supposed to be like this or something. I'll fix it, put it back together, tape it back, glue it back on his hand or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to try to sell this Santa. If I can get $100 for this Santa, okay. Because people were selling, like I said, $295, $195. Hey, Deborah. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Terry. Uh, make sure y'all thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Then I got this bag full of goodies. This Franco Sarto wallet. Franco Sarto. I thought it was Franco Sarto. Hold up. Oh, it's upside down. Duh. Franco Sarto. Wallet. It's just a cute little leather black wallet. And look at the interior. That's a cute little design. I'm going to look this up. It'll probably be on my Poshmark, too. I've, I've gotten a couple of wallets. I've got so many wallets, and I ain't putting none of them up, really. I put some up. But, yeah, that'll be on my Posh. Nice little soft leather Franco Sardo black wallet. And then look at this cute. Look at this cute purse right here. Look at this cute plum color purse. That, this is cute, and this is some nice leather, pebbled leather. I guess that's what they call this. But look at this purse. This is cute. How cute is this purse, y'all? How cute is this purse? And you can adjust the little belts and make it smaller or bigger. But this plum color purse is adorable, and it has this. This is a drawstring bag, so you can make it, like I said, smaller or bigger. And this leather is really nice on it. And the interior is really nice as well. See that interior? Look at that interior. How nice is this in that interior? And this is a Max New York, which these I looked these up as well. These are not cheap purses. And this is very a heavy purse. It's a nice, heavy, sturdy leather. Thank you, thank y'all. Yeah, he's here, Terry. If I say I'll probably bring him back towards the end because he's hyper. He was here at the beginning. He's hyper, so I'll tell him bring him back in here towards the end. But yeah, so Max Studio, New York. Not Max Studio, Max New York. And yeah. I don't know. If you could go and get it on there, once I post it, just comment and just make me an offer. Cause I, that's why I tell my subscribers, just make me an offer. And if I either I accept it or try to come somewhere close to it, but my subscribers get off awesome deals. And this also says Max on the zipper. I mean, this is a really nice purse. And it's in very good, great condition. So you see it on there. I'm trying to get it posted tonight. So I, I'll probably make it for a high price so it won't sell before you see it. Put it on there for a high price. Put it on there for about a hundred bucks, so it won't sell before you see it. It shouldn't sell, but I mean, shoot, somebody might buy this bag for a hundred bucks. Never know, because this is a really nice purse. I had never heard of this brand, so I looked it up, and it was these are like three hundred dollar purses, something like that. Max New York, but this is yeah, a cute purse. It always pays to have your phone on handy and char fully charged, so you can get on that internet and search. To see what stuff's worth, brands are worth that you don't really know. I try to watch other 
uh, Poshmark markers to find out brands and stuff. But sometimes you don't see some of these brands. So, yeah. Yeah, I think you would love that purse because it's an awesome. I showed y'all the bottom. Look at that. Awesome. Freaking ain't nothing wrong with this purse. I don't even know why they got it. They must not like it. Maybe it was too heavy for them because it is a heavy, sturdy, heavy leather. This little thing. Why did I get this? I got this yesterday because green was 99 cent. That's why I got it because it was 99 cent and it's a cute little. I said I could wear it with some black pants or something. Black pants, black top underneath. I just thought it was cute. So this is for me. 99 cent yesterday. Then I got this to put on my posh because I was like, this is a, just a neat jacket. And I thought somebody would just love it, especially somebody who loves the sea or the ocean or lighthouses because it has lighthouses and a little boat, which I love the ocean and the sea, but I don't care for too much for lighthouses. But this would be cute with some jeans, anything denim. This would be really cute with or some white pants, whatever. Some navy blue pants. I mean, it's just a cute, neat jacket and it seems like it would keep you really warm it's almost like a carpet material and the brand is blair blair.com so blair most blair stuff i see i think is like vintage and it's um size large 65 percent cotton 35 percent polyester and it says exclusive deck exclusive of decoration because so i don't know what the decoration is it says made in india reverse says machine wash code separately gentle cycle so you can machine wash it and i just think it's a really cute jacket so this will be all my posh mark yeah that's why i got it because i thought like it's not really the beach it's more like the sea or something because you see the lighthouse and the grass and all that but i just thought it was cute somebody i thought somebody would want this somebody would want this and i think it's vintage too so Somebody definitely will want that. I know. It does look like it might be expensive, and it probably is. I didn't research it. I just thought it was neat, so I got it. I said, I said that'll sell. That will sell. Then I got this jacket, and it's still got all these tags on it, so I'm assuming it was never worn either, and it's from the Limited. And I just got it for me to have a black a blazer, basically, jacket, because I have a, I need a black, a, I mean, a brown one. I need a brown like blazer to throw on every now and then. Why not? And it's uh, outer shell, 62% polyester, 34% rayon, 4% ly lycra, lycra, lycra spandex. So, yeah, this is a cute little jacket that I can throw on over anything. So, that's for me. And that was 99 cents. All these clothes I'm showing right now are 99, were 99 cents yesterday. The jackets and the clothes were 99 cents yesterday. Um, this was a cute sweater, so I just thought it was, look, it was White House. No, Jones, New York. I thought it was White House Black Market. Just Jones, New York, and has this random dot squares around it, and it's like a shimmery, see, like a white underneath a black, or maybe coming through through the black. And it's kind of sheer, sheer see through, kind of. Have to put a spaghetti strap top or something under, but I thought it was a cute top. And I'm gonna put that this on my Poshmark. It was only 99 cents, and it's Jones, New York, which you know Jones, New York is not cheap. Then I got this cute little top that I thought was adorable. Look at this top, y'all. This is the is at the back. I know that's the front, but look at it. No, look at the. I gotta show y'all the back too. Look at the sleeves, and then look at the back. Look at that. And the bottom of it. The bottom's plain on the back, but the bottom on the front is cute. This is a really cute top. And the brand is Solitaire by Ravi Kosla. Kosla. So, I think I had heard of his brand. I think it's also why I got it, too, because I don't think this brand is cheap. I don't think it is a cheap brand. So, yeah, I got that for 99 cents. That's going on my Poshmark. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it is a light and airy. Then I got this jacket for my Posh as well. It's just it's like a very fall jacket. How fall is this? And it seems vintage. I don't know if it's vintage because there's no date, but it's an Alfred and it's size 16. Size 16 and it's Alfred 
Dunner, which I don't think Alfred Dunner is cheap. Yeah, I think it's like an expensive suit brand. But it's just a cute little jacket. You got black trim. Just a cute little simple jacket. You can put this on over a black dress, red dress. I wouldn't wear it over tan dress. That'd be too much tan, but you can if you want to. It's you, you do what you do. And then the interior just has flat. It might be a reversal. I think this is a reversible. Hold on, y'all, because it don't. Well, it has this tag, so it can't be reversible. But it shoot, if you wanted to cut that tag out and make it reversible, you could and wear it on this side. Let me pull that sleeve out. Yep, you sure could. All you have to do is tear that tag off. And you got a reversible jacket. Why not? Because this side is very cute as well. Then you can wear it over a tan dress. Wear it on that side. So, yeah. So make it reversible. Just take care of the stupid tag. And you got a reversible jacket. Cute little reversible jacket. Very cute. And it just says machine wash code, general cycle, line dry. 99 cent, y'all. 99 cent. Yep. Two jackets in one. Nano. So that's that. Oh, what else is in here? Got something else in here, y'all. This is a little... Oh, I showed y'all that, the Franco Sarto wallet. Or is it... did I have two of these? No, I... no, this is the one I showed y'all. Yeah. I didn't know I put it back in the bed. So, yeah, let me put these clothes back in here. Because I don't want to be at the end stuffing all this stuff back in these bags. Get it done as I go. Okay, got that out of the way. Got that out the way. Next bag. Do I got any more behind me? That no, I've shown everything. Get the stuff in front. Ugh. This is a bag of shoes. And I don't know. I bought most of these shoes because I put a lot of my shoes out of that other bag. So these are the shoes I got yesterday. Got these little cute boots. They're patent leather. And the brand is E.T. Nagner. Y'all know I get a lot of E.T. Nagner purses. And I have a lot of E.T. Nagner shoes. I just ain't posted them yet. Posted a couple of pairs. But these are E.T. Nagner boots. And you know that E.T. Nagner is not cheap. So I know these boots are not supposed to be cheap. But they will be on my Poshmark. Not cheap, but they will be maybe 30 bucks. But if one of my subscribers want them, they'll be cheaper. But these are size, just some cute little leather E.T. Nagner boot. And look, it has the symbol right there, the little A on the buckle on them. And they're in good condition. Look at the soles, A's all on the soles. And they're my size. They're size 10. See that? So I'm giving y'all something cute that's not cheap in my size. And that just needs to be wiped off. That's some kind of white crap. It's, it comes off. It'll wash off. I don't know what it is, but it'll rag and wash it off. But yeah, there are eighteen Nagners. I don't know if y'all can see down in there. Y'all can't. Yeah, there you go. A little bit, somewhat. But they're cute. Size 10. Cute size 10 boots. E.T. Magner. Be on my posh. I don't know how long they'll be there. Now, when it gets to winter, if these things are still on there, I'm going to claim them for myself. Even though I got all kind of boots, but I don't got any brown booties. I don't have brown booties. I got brown boots. I don't think I got any brown booties. And these are really cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love booties with, uh, not really. These are, they're kind of booties because they're not that, yeah. But they, I love booties with uh, buckles on them. Like, and I love E.T. Nagner. And then I got these. These are nine and a half. These are in my size. I said I was going to try to sell them, but if not, I'm keeping them because I think they're cute. How they, they're Nine West, and people are always talk bad about Nine West on Poshmark, but I think Nine West sells because I bought Nine West stuff on Poshmark, and these are black leather, just black leather heels, cute little heels, and they're in good, great, great condition, size nine and a half, but they have this little anklet. I like it because the heel's not that high. And they have this little piece, this little anklet piece just makes, that's what makes it so cute. The back, the detail in the back, and then the patent leather with the leather, and then this little anklet piece makes these so cute to me. So they will be on my Poshmark, and if they don't say, I don't care, because they're my size, and I will wear these, because these are adorable. Nine West leather shoes. Adorable. $3.99. So 
size nine and a half once again. Hey Raven, your size. Now you want which ones do you want? Them I ain't sent you stuff yet, or them other ones. I ain't haven't sent Samantha's gift yet. Her birthday's tomorrow, but I'm gonna get it sent. She'll get it. She'll get it. Just not on her birthday. But Samantha Jenkins' birthday tomorrow. Y'all better make sure y'all wish her a happy birthday. Uh, she's not in here yet, but she'll probably be in here by the time I get done with this long haul. And these, look at these. Kohans. Some cute Kohan. And look at them. Were, they wor were these worn at all? Were these Kohan clogs worn at all? I grabbed these up so fast, y'all don't understand how quick I grabbed these up. Look at them with a little cute stitch detail underneath. It's just ridiculous. Oh, your birthday's Friday, Nana. Well, happy birthday, Nana. I didn't know that. You're going to have to send me something and tell me your favorite colors and stuff to my la la be so random at Gmail. Send me something, to, uh, uh, Nana. So I might send you out a little something, something. But yeah, how cute are these? They're just some clouds, but they're different. They got this stitch detail and they're Kohans, which you know these things are probably a hundred and something dollar shoes. And they weren't worn. Somebody must not didn't couldn't fit them. I don't know why they didn't wear them. Like who buys shoes and doesn't wear them? But these will be on my posh, and they are size, size, size ten. Another shoe my size, y'all. That I'm putting on there, putting on there, sharing the love. But if these don't sell by the time I want to wear them, which sometime in winter probably, then I'm gonna keep them because I love Kohan, and these seem like these are very comfortable and they're cute and different. Just for a casual day, casual, comfortable, just slip on your feet. Cute. So, yeah. Size 10, size 10 B. And they're made in Brazil. Kohan's made in Brazil. These shoes are. Anyway, let me put them on the back of the stair so I don't have to pick them back up. Then I got... These Stuart Weitzman, 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 have you pronounce his name? These are not cheap shoes, y'all know. Y'all know Stuart Weitzman is expensive. Look at these. How cute are these little shoes? Cute, 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 cute. Little gold patent leather shoes. Stuart Weitzman and nice little heel, wedge heel. Size, 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 size. They don't say it on the bottom, does it? It just says leather sole made in Spain. The size is. 10. See, it's another size 10. Another size 10. I'm I'm going to put on my posh. And if it don't sell, y'all know I'm keeping it for myself. I'm a, I give it, I give these to, where's patent leather? Do you really wear patent leather in spring? You really would wear these fall before it gets cold or whatever. Do you, or no, I don't know. Do you wear patent leather in spring? Y'all comment. Because I don't know, but these are cute. And they're size 10. See, I got a lot of size 10s for y'all people. I know a lot of y'all wear my same shoe size. So y'all usually complain when I be having them little big shoes. These are all a lot of size 10s that I'm just letting my people get on Poshmark and, and get and look at these little cute little flats. How cute are these Jessica Simpson flats? Now, I did get these for myself. Like I said, all the, some of this stuff that I got my, from myself, I will put on my Posh. And these are suede, cute gray suede. Look at them, just cute, like semi gladiator, but not <laughs> ankle length gladiator flats. Just the Simpson and their size nine and a half, nine and a half. Y'all can't see it because it's too tiny, but it's a nine and a half. And they're adorable, suede, gray suede, and they even have the little detail, a little detail, Jessica Simpson detail on the little zippers on the back. Just cute. Cute, cute, cute. And I did get these for myself, but I'm going to put them on my posh. And if they sell, they sell because I have enough shoes I really don't need. But if they don't sell by the time I want to wear them, I'm going to keep them. Y'all know me. I still have them other heels that was real cute. They still listed on my posh. I ain't kept them yet. But all the stuff that I listed on my posh is my size. Like I said, if they ain't so by the time I want to wear it, then I'm going to get them, keep them. Or I might just wear them and put them back on my posh. Then if they're worn and they weren't worn, then I have to lower the price. But oh well, because people need to buy this stuff. All right, next bag, next bag, next bag. All 
four ninety nine. Yeah, them shoes for three nine. All the shoes I get three ninety nine, three dollars and ninety nine cent. Yeah, you can find a lot of Jessica Simpson stuff at um at the Goodwill. I, it's always Jessica Simpson stuff, and I usually pass it up. But since those look unique, because they were like partial gladiator and they're suede and cute, I got them because I really got them for myself. Like I said, this is a Pendleton bag, tote bag. It's cute. Got the yellow interior. Just a Pendleton. I know Pendleton is not cheap. I think I looked these Pendleton bah, Pendleton bags up, and they were like sixty bucks for these tote bags. So yeah, this is going on my posh mark. I got little cute little flowers on it. Daisies, daisies. And then I got some more cozy socks for myself. You never can have. Look at them. How cute is that? That little jewel detail with the little bow. Never can have enough of these to wear around the house. Never. And they're just as comfortable as this, even more comfortable than this sweater. And they're Luisa Torres. I don't know who Luisa Torres is, but that's what brand they are. And I just thought they were adorable. And I think they were 59 cents or something like it. So why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, they feel cozy too, Nana. And then look at this 18 Agner bag and i think they just charged me a dollar 99 for this i don't i'm not sure i don't know if the receipt's in this bag or not because it didn't have the strap with it that's why i made sure i told them i said they don't have a strap with it and it's supposed to have a strap so it should be charged as a clutch but some clutches they do charge 3.99 i don't know what they charge me for this but i mean it's cute vintage vintage 18 agner navy blue leather bag that's what the inside looks like it has the signature out through it all throughout, but it's supposed to have a strap and it doesn't, so it becomes a clutch, but it's thin enough to be a clutch. But it's just cute. I like the weave, leather weaving, and I yeah, I know I love the symbol. I love the A. I don't know why. I just I always have. Just thought it was cute. <laughs> you say you need them socks tonight. You in a freeze warning. We better not have no freeze warming warming. Oh, you know, you're not in Nichols. Where are you at, Nana? I forget. Got where you at? And I got this thing. It's a scarf, green scarf. I think it's cashmere. I think that's why I got it. Yeah. No wool. This is wool. Hundred percent wool, made in Japan, dry clean only. So hundred percent wool scarf. And it's just green, green wool scarf. It will be on my posh mark. Look at this cute little fossil wallet. This is simple little leather fossil wallet. I just thought it was cute. This little fossil wallet. So look this up. It might be on my posh. I might keep it. Either or. Just thought it was a cute little vintage fossil wallet. Yeah, but at least today it was 50-something because it was 40-something Saturday. I was like, hold up. It's not supposed to be cold yet here. 80 degrees. Well, it was just 80 degrees last Monday here. 90 degrees. Our weather's crazy. Kentucky weather is crazy. This is a cute polo belt. Y'all know me and my polo. But, yeah, this is a polo belt. Leather. Got that. Hopefully it fit my son. It's a 36, so it should fit him. He's a 30, 34 waist. So yeah, you got him the polo belt. I think it's navy blue. I can't even really tell. Genuine leather, Ralph Lauren, polo Ralph Lauren. I think it's, it's either black or navy blue. My eyes can't, I can't tell. I think it's black though. Matter of fact, here's a navy blue purse. That's black, definitely black. <laughs> black belt. And that pendle, and this is the bottom. I'm going to show you how the bottom of the pendle coat has those studs on the bottom of it. So, yeah, so that's a nice tote. That's a nice tote. Okay, now we got this bag. Now, this stuff in this bag I already listed on my Poshmark. So I was trying to get ahead of myself. So, this stuff is already listed. It's already up. I don't remember what prices I have on them. But like I said, y'all always can make offers. I thought this was a cute 
This is a Nam West bag, but I just thought it was cute. Like I said, if I get something Nam West for my posh, it's because it's different, and I think it's cute because people say Nam West doesn't do too well on posh. But Nam West is not cheap, so I don't know why it doesn't do too well on posh, but they say it doesn't. But this is a cute Nam West bag. Very cute. And it's already up, already listed, so go check it out. La La B42, out my closet. This Tommy Bahama bag, vintage Tommy Bahama bucket bag. Is already up and already listed. The straps are in great condition. Leather straps, leather trim, and then a nice little palm tree print for those beachy people, beachy beachy people that like big bigger purses and like vintage stuff and like Tommy Bahama. And yes, it says Tommy Bahama there, and the interior is great. Great, great. Got a little leather on the interior. Some of the interior, like trim as well. And it's just a just up, just a bucket bag. I'm trying to see what y'all saying and, and do this at the same time. And I got this Jan Sport backpack. I think I listed this. This is already listed as well. Yeah, little cute little Jan Sport navy blue back here. And all these colors in the front, just cute. It's like a gray, and a, yeah, that's listed already. I'm a posh. Then I got this for myself. Cause look at this, how cute is this purse? I want to list it because I know this will sell fast because it's unique. Like the one of those Kenya bags I've already sold, and I've shipped it already. Those, remember those Kenya? I don't know what they call salsa bags, sisa bags, sisal bags is what they're called. But they're like big bucket whoop bags, basket bags. One of them I already sold. I think I sold it for 30 bucks. $3.99. I sold it for 30 bucks, y'all. And I have the other one hasn't sold yet. But yeah, this yeah, this is definitely a vintage hand a handmade, I would say, because it doesn't have a brand or anything. I would say this is like a handmade, very unique bag. Very unique. So it's for me right now. Eventually, I may sell it because these type bags sell pretty good. I probably could sell this for like 30, 40 bucks just because it's unique and different and it's nice. Back is plain. And but look at the strap. Just cute. And then I got. Yeah, dance sports not that cheap. It sure ain't. Especially when they have these designs. The plain ones are not that expensive. No more, but the ones with designs and stuff on them are not cheap. But the plain ones used to be expensive when we was young. And I got this. How cute is this? How cute is this beaded design bag? Blue jean. This is for myself. This is for me because I know I love flowers and I love different unique things. And it has butterflies and flowers. The two things I really love. Butterflies and flowers. Brother, blah, 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 blah. I can't get my words out. Butterflies and flowers. So, yeah, I had to get this. It sat there for a couple of days. And I said, I'm getting it. Of course, it was $3.99, but I don't care. I like unique stuff. And if it's what I love, like this would be cute, like a denim dress or just uh, playing any of these colors in her solid dress. This purse would set this, set it off. And I'm definitely going to take this to Jamaica. Definitely going to take this to Jamaica because that would be cute for pictures and stuff on my Instagram. And if y'all ain't following me on the gram, make sure y'all follow me on the gram. It's the same. La la be so random. Make sure y'all follow. I got a thousand Instagram followers today. Yay! Finally hit a thousand. I'm like at a thousand and three or four last time I checked. So I'm just so hyped about that because now I can probably do some ads on Instagram or do make some little money. Instagram money too. So I was hyped. I like I finally got to a thousand on Instagram. I didn't start Instagram really putting stuff up to November last year on my Instagram, really posting, posting. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Thank you. And look at this Kohan bag. This is mine. I'm not sharing this because I don't have any purse this color. This is like a magenta, I guess you call it. And it's cute. It has a little water stain or something on it. I'm going to see if I can get that. But that's the back of it, so I don't care. The front of it is cute. Kohan. Thank you, Martha. Kohan, so you know it's not cheap, not a cheap purse. And this with the interior is pink, and then it has the Kohan, and it's my size, just my little bitty size. I know I like these little big purses, and look at that, it got a little pocket on the side, and that's an actual pocket, too. <laughs> it's a pocket behind the interior pocket. Now, that's cool, that is a cool detail right there. 
I can sneak some food or something in there. Cause that's how you see. That's how I can sneak some food to the movies. Because you know, some of these theaters won't check your bags now. They might not see this, this sad zip or think it's an actual pocket. And it is. I can put a little candy in there, a little something. Not no food for real, but a little candy or something. Sneaking off in the movie theater. When I go see, uh, what's that movie that's coming out that I wanted to go see? I don't know the name of it. What's that movie? Y'all know that movie coming out on the 18th or whatever. About the Black Flash Matter stuff. But that boy gets shot and stuff. But look at this bag. How cute is this? I got this. I'm going to take this to Jamaica with me, too. I debated on this bag and debated on this bag and debated. I'm like, I'm not paying three ninety nine for this little bag. And how racist is it? Watermelon. But it's cute. So I have to have a watermelon bag. So I don't care. People racist. People that can go away. Shoot. But it's cute. <laughs> Even the woman at the counter was like, it's so cute. You got some cute purses. And it's about sunny Hawaii. So I guess I don't know if you have the baddies in Hawaii. Or if this is just a brand new order in Atlanta, they sell in the stores. I don't know, sunny Hawaii, but it's just adorable. It's just adorable, and it's my perfect size, and it would be so cute in Jamaica with my little watermelon bag. Oh, you do? You just, well, Canada, you just need the passport card which is not too much cheaper than a passport, but it's cheaper than a passport. But just since it's a border, a border country, you only need the passport cards. You don't need the actual full passport, but the passport card is not too much cheaper anymore. Is it? I, I didn't look at the price. I think it's like 80 bucks for, for a passport card. So passport is what? 135. So you might as well just get the full passport. Yeah, it's been requiring a passport since, you know, all that 9 11 and years stuff. Because you, you used to go to Jamaica. Not ja I don't know about Jamaica, but you used to go to Bahamas without a passport. Because I went to the Bahamas twice. Last time I went was 2005, and I didn't have a passport. But it was like years after 9 11, they, they changed all that where you had to have a passport. You even got to have a passport to go to Mexico, too. Well, not passport, but passport card for the bordering countries. And then you have to have an actual passport for any countries that don't border the United States. But yeah, be getting my passport was the best thing I ever did because I love it. I love to travel and I'm going to keep on. I ain't stuff my bills. They get paid when they get paid. I'm enjoying my life. I'm not going to live a stress, stress, stress that life. I want to see things and go places. Pay my bills when they get paid. That's why I'm starting. To, that's why I have a Poshmark and I have a YouTube to hopefully one day make money to start paying them bills off. But yeah. Oh, I'm still on this. I'm sitting there trying to read what y'all talking about. And I'm just getting stuck. Getting stuck. <laughs> trying to keep up with y'all in the comments. On to the next. I got two. Oh, I got more than two bags. Lord have mercy. I told y'all this is a big haul. But this is what I've been thrifting for the past since Python and Wednesday or Thursday since my last video. Ugh. All right. Got another bag right here. Right here, right here, right here. This is some stuff I got yesterday in this bag. And I got some vintage stuff. My son said he'll wear this because he likes vintage Tommy. This is a vintage Tommy top. He can wear like a white shirt underneath and be styling a pro white t-shirt or something and keep it open. But this is yeah, got the little Tommy here and it has a, a little Tommy thing on the side. So just yeah, Tommy here figure jeans, top vintage. I thought he would want it and I was going to wear it with a white tank top and some jeans. It would have been cute because it's oversized. But he was like, no, I want it. He so he wants it. He likes vintage stuff. And then I got this vintage top for me. I don't know y'all remember these. And I know y'all remember this brand, 955 Originals. Wasn't it by Levi's or something? It was like the brand that was close to Levi's when we was in high school and stuff. Look at this top. Y'all know y'all had this top in high school. Y'all know y'all had it. Y'all know y'all did. I said I had to get this. I had to get it. I'm not going to wear it buttoned up. I'm going to wear like a white tank under it or a red tank and wear it open. And I can also tie it at the end if I want to. But I had to get it. Had to get this vintage top 955 original. Had to get it. I'm going to style it too. I'm going to style this. 99 cent. Why not? 99 cent. Why not? All this stuff in this bag. 99 cent. Yesterday. Hey, Samantha. Oh, I got your address. 
I'm I'm a tired to send the package out tomorrow, but you won't get it on your birthday. Get it a few days after because I'm not sending this stuff out probably to tomorrow. But I got your address, Samantha. I told everybody it's your birthday tomorrow. So happy early birthday if I don't see you tomorrow because I probably won't be out here. No, I won't see you tomorrow. So happy early birthday, Samantha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Samantha. Happy birthday to you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And this is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren top. Just a little, little plain top that I might sell. Just got a little, little lace detail on the sleeves, see through. <coughs> Uh, size medium, so I might keep it or I might sell it. But I didn't, I like this detail on the sleeve, so I'm probably gonna keep it. 99 cent and everything in this bag. If you didn't hear me say it the first time, and this is just an apartment nine top for my son, I just got it because I thought it was a nice top he could wear to, to church, so why not? And this is another top for him. And this nice Azad sweater. I said that'd be nice for him to wear. It's really nice. That'll look nice on him, that color. He wear that to church. Styling and profiling in that little Azad sweater. Now, oh, you're welcome, Samantha. You'll get your little uh, birthday stuff. Uh, not tomorrow. It won't come tomorrow because I ain't mailed it yet. You know me, I procrastinator, but you'll get it. I ain't mailed yours or Raven's other shoes. And then I got this blue jacket to sell on my posh, possibly, or keep for myself. Because y'all know this is my color blue. Y'all know it is. I might keep this. I don't know. But it's a nice jacket. Very nice. It is Tog Shop. I looked them up. This jacket is like $100 or something like that. And it's my size, too. Well, anybody's size is extra large. Who likes a little tiny coat? I like a coat to be big on me, so it's an extra large. It's not really my size, but it's not since I lost weight. Even before I lost weight, but it will be my size. And it has that detail and on the back. It's just cute. For 99 cents? Shoot, why not? When this is a $100 coat, and I got it for 99 cents. And I got this coat for 99 cents. As well. Like I said, everything in this bag. I'm just saying it over because maybe new people have came in and don't realize I got this stuff in this bag for 99 cents. So that's why I keep repeating it. But yeah. And this is a navy blue trench coat. That's going to be for sale on my posh. And yeah, just wrinkles. It's just wrinkles, but it's, it's a nice trench. Nice trench. And it is C and A. And it's a size medium. And I looked them up. These are pretty decent priced trenches, trench coats. So, yeah, that'll be on my posh. Nice navy blue trench coat. Size medium. Got the, Here's the little belt that goes to it. And then, got these pants, new with tags, from the Limited. Nice black tuxedo style. I guess you call these tuxedo style. And they're size 8, which I can fit this size 8 now since I lost that little weight, but I ain't gonna be a size 8 for long, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep I'm gonna sell these. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even gonna keep them because once I start eating, 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 which I've already started a little bit, but I'm not gonna do it too much because I gotta stay small too, to for Jamaica. But yeah, just some cute uh pants from the limited, new with tags, size 8 long, says Drew Fit Classic Flare, sexy and stream, sexy and streamlined, low rise waist. Straight hip and thigh, so that'll be on my posh from the limited. And I got it, y'all know, I nice nice And this top for my son, Tommy Hill figure top, just a button down, just a nice Tommy Hill figure button down. Got that for him to wear to church or whatever. And that's all of that stuff. Oh, your mom's taking you out to dinner. That's good, that's nice. Oh, you said that was a steal then? Yeah, I love to get coats for 99 cents. People are looking at coats now and they're liking my coats and stuff on there a lot. And I, a lot of coats I have not even listed that I bought. I got some cute coats that I need to list because people are looking for coats and scarves and gloves and stuff right now on pie. So if you have coats and, and winter stuff like sweaters and stuff, they're looking for that stuff now. That's what's selling now. So I need to get my stuff posted that is winter, winter stuff. 
a lot of jack, a few jackets. I think I just have one coat listed, and that coat's been getting a lot of lights lately and a lot of shares. And then I have some little gloves for little kids, some North Face gloves. Those, North, those North Face gloves have gotten a lot of lights. I sold them already. I just posted them yesterday. Sold them already. I just sold them for seven bucks. But hey, I only paid a dollar seventy nine. Look at this, y'all. This is my awesome find for today. It was there last week, but I was debating. But I, no, yesterday was there yesterday when I was there, but I debated. But then today I looked it up, and these are like online for like $200, $100. Look at this. Back to the future, $9.99. So why not? I don't think I'm selling it, though. I think I want it for myself because that was like an awesome movie, awesome series. And look. Look, 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 look. <sighs> the door's open, y'all. The door's open. Oh, my gosh. How cool is this? How cool is this Back to the Future model car? How cool. How cool. How cool. How cool. And look, it's, it's so detailed. And look at the license plate. It even has the license plate details and the... It has all the details. So cool. So cool. Only thing is the rearview mirrors I'm missing on it, which I'm sure you probably ordered those or something, but this is from like the 80s. This is really from the 80s, and this thing, like I said, goes from like, it can go probably from like 60 on up for this this staff. To, I saw one for 200 something, 100 something, really. I think it might have been one that cost more than that that was on there. So yeah, these... This is a good collector's. I told you I was getting collector's items today for some reason. They had a lot of collector stuff. So I just said, I'll probably just keep this. Y'all might see that in my studio room <laughs> when I get it done. I'm glad I got another rack for that room today because that's what I really, really, really needed. So yeah, back to the future. Model car. Oh, Red Lobster got the all-you-can-eat shrimp. Oh, shoot. I, I was wondering if they still had that. I ain't been to that in a long time. Let me get these other two, these last two bags right here. And my bed is not made because I've been lazy today. Came straight home from work and had all these bags. I didn't feel like doing that. And I got attacked by baby Zane on the way in. On the way in, so yeah. Y'all can't see my bed's not made anyway. <laughs> y'all can't see it. Good. Good that y'all can't see it. Ugh. Okay. So this big bag right here is full of shoes. Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. And this bag is shoes, too. So both of these bags, shoes. And a lot of these shoes I've already posted on my posh. So if you like any of these shoes, go to my posh and check them out. And then I have this purse I'll go on and show y'all. This is the B. Mikowski bag that I got for $3.99. Look at this B. Mikowski, this big B. Mikowski bag. $3.99 freaking cent, y'all. What kind of steal was that? That was a heck of a steal. A heck of a steal. And it's funny because I found, this is not the only B. Mikowski bag that I found this week. It was one of the other Goodwill, but it, they wanted $35.99 because they knew they knew what the brand was. So they wanted $35.99 for it. And it didn't look like it was real. I don't know if it was real or not because the stitching on the inside didn't look too swell. So I found my, it's kind of iffy. And this leather feels a lot better. than. But it was shiny like this too, but it was smaller. $35. I'm like, no, if I done bought, after I bought one for $3.99, and it might have been fake because the tassel was not the same as this tassel. It had the two things on it, but this part was not the same. I don't know. They say they have a signature tassel. So, yeah. And this one feels, it does feel better than that other one. The other one might have been real, but I'm not sure. But this is cute. How cute is this? For $3. Oh, Terry got to leave. Good night, Terry. Thanks for watching. But how cute is this B. Mikowski bag for $3? Straps are still good, good condition. Just nice, nice, nice B. Mikowski bag. And look at that cheetah print interior. What else is in there? Oh, this cashmere scarf, which I found out these little cashmere scarves right here are not worth nothing. So I guess I'm going to keep all these for myself or gift them to people. 
because they're there. I saw them on eBay, on Amazon, and all that. They like seven dollars. Well, I thought hundred percent cashmere, but the made in Scotland ones, they ain't worth nothing. They're not worth nothing. Somebody had a lot of twelve for one hundred and fifty for twelve. So I'm like, no, not. It was forty nine dollars, I think, for twelve. I said, "Oh well, they're cute. It's a cute scarf." So here, Nisha Watson, if you're still on there, that's your colors. You can have it. That's your. That'd be your gift. Cashmere scarf. Yeah, yo, you a bell colors. How about that? Because I got a whole bunch more of these from the Goodwill, thinking they were worth something because they was cashmere. But oh well, I like cashmere, so I wear them. So yeah, this B Mikowski bag. I don't know what color this is. It's like it's like a it's confusing because it's kind of gold. It's gold, but it's silver. It's like a silver gold. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up the actual. They just say metallic when you look them up. I'm gonna look up this one to see if it says more than metallic. I'm gonna try to get this color, but it, it's really like a goldish. It's like a light goldish, but it's a silver gold. It's like two colors in one. I don't know, but I guess it's supposed to be silver because the the zipper and stuff is silver. So I guess it's like a metallic silver, but it's really not a silver though. It's like a silver gold. Hard to say what color this is, Nana. Silver and gold, but it's just a nice bag. Very nice B. Mikowski bag. You know, B. Mikowski's not cheap. Okay, on to the shoes. On to the big bag of shoes. Hold on, let me show this comment that Raven made. It hid it for some reason. Oh, the scarves? Eh, I could, but I'm going to keep them for myself. <laughs> I'm going to keep them for myself. Now, if my subscribers buy stuff, then I can send them as a free gift to them, those cashmere scarves. But if not, I'm going to keep them for myself. I was sending little pieces of jewelry as free gifts, but I stopped doing that because people wasn't, uh, they weren't leaving ratings and stuff. Some was leaving ratings, but some just don't leave ratings. And when you don't leave ratings or you don't accept the item, the people think they just bad and that's it. But for the sellers, people that sell on Posh, once you get your item accepted and rate them because then they get paid immediately. Because if they don't, if you don't accept it and rate them as soon as you get the item, then they got to wait three or four days after you get the item to get their money. I didn't know that to be kept until I became a posture, but I always rated it quick. I always did just to get it out, out of there, but I didn't know you could get paid until the person accepted or four days after, three days after, four days after. Some postures want their money. You got your item? I want my money. This is the boot right here. This is already listed. I don't know what price. I, it's a Franco Sarto uh, leather boot. And it's sad, 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 sad. And there's a little peeling on this side where I thought the sticker was still on it. And I was trying to get it off. And, it, and I peeled the <laughs> peel. It was the leather that was peeling on the inside or the vinyl or whatever it is on the inside. But this is the, the outside is leather. The interior is whatever. Uh, Man-made materials. But the upper is, is leather. Leather upper balance. And it's size seven and a half. These are size seven and a half. And these are some sturdy strong, cute, Franco Sarto, Ugh, cute boots, seven and a half, very cute, chunky heel. Uh, you like these, you like these boots? Uh, living my best life. The other one is in one of these bags, or it might be in that room, but I got both. I do have both boots, and they're not, look at that, they're not in bad shape at all, so these are already listed, already listed. Everything in this bag, I think, is already listed on my Poshmark. La La B42. I should have put it in the description. I will when I get done. These little Kenzie shoes, they're already listed too. Look, look they're like flats, cute. They're cute flats this way, then they're tennis shoes on the bottom. Just how comfortable. How comfortable are these? And how cute are these little shoes? Just cute little shoes. And that's leather on the exterior. So yeah, these are just some cute little shoes. They're already listed. And these are size, size. Mm. Size eight and a half. So these little shoes are size eight and a half. Kenzie brand. And then I got these. I have not listed these yet. These are Harley Davidson. Cute little, look at them spiked in the bag, spiked all around. But they're Harley Davidson clogs for the little biker chicks or people who want to be biker chicks. $3.99, $3 that's it. Just some cute little Harley Davidson clogs that 
don't look like they've really been worn it all, oh, maybe once or twice. And their size, 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 um, six, no, size eight, size six UK, size eight USA, size 39 Europe. Cute little Harley Davidson clothes. And then I got these little cute little faux snakeskin Jessica Simpson heels in great condition. Their size. Eight and a half, I think it's what does it say? Seven and a half. Seven and a half B. So size seven and a half B. And they're in awesome, awesome condition. They're like tan, a tan color. Golden tan, whatever you want to call it. Full snake skin. Jessica Simpson. Cute pito heels. Cute, cute, cute. And size seven and a half, as I said before. <laughs> yeah, water be biker chicks. And then these cute little loafers, little comfortable loafers. I just thought they were very cute. Sky blue and white. You got the little link on them. They're Antonio Bossi, which I looked up, and I guess these are like, they're not cheap shoes. They're about 80 bucks or something like that. It. It's on my posh already. I got the price. But these are size eight. But I think, but these are size eight in men's. So these probably are, good. what is size eight in men? A 10 in women's or something like that? Or no, 11 in women's probably because they're too big for me. They're bigger than my foot. So, yeah, size eight men because they're not a size eight women. But they look like women's shoes, though, don't they? I guess a man can wear them too, but I think they would be cute for a woman. Really cute for a woman to wear. So, yeah, they're already listed. And then I got these cute bands. Yeah, you want to ride a Harley Raven? Well, get you these motorcycle shoes and you might get a Harley, maybe. You never know. That some Harleys might, might, might give you a ride on their Harley because you got on Harley Davidson shoes. <laughs> I got clean these still, but they're already listed, but I'm going to clean them and list them too. These are getting a lot of likes. These are not going to last long, when, especially once I clean them up and realize they might not even last until I clean them up. They might go be gone before that, but I got to get me another Oxy stick to clean my stuff because I used that other one up. Liquid stick, Oxy stick. Oxy clean liquid stick to clean because that stuff smells good and it clean stuff. There's gonna be two of those when I go to the store. But these are vans. Vans, as you can see, and vans do good. And these are suede. Gray, they're light gray, like my walls, like my walls. And they're suede. And their the soles are in awesome freaking condition. And these are size. Nine U.S. women and seven and a half men. So these could be these are unisex men, or you know most bands are unisex. And then these cute little kid bands. How cute are these? Little adorable little kid bands. How adorable! Look like somebody colored, like they're colored with a coloring book type bands. They're so cute, little dinosaurs and stuff. These are adorable suede and then canvas. But adorable, adorable, and it has a little rainbow, a little rainbow. Hey, Sharon, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you thumbs up. Got a little rainbow. It's just cute for a little kid. And it's, it says vans. Stand here and think about someone you love. Stand in your vans and think about someone you love for the little kids. And they got the little zip for the little kids to make it easy. You don't even have to untie their shoes. Just zip it down, slide them on. And these are size 13C, I think. What? I got another pair of little kids shoes, so I might be mixing them up. But let me see what the size. These are size. The tags way down there with size. Oh, these are size three kids. So size three kids. Size three kids, and they're up already. And look at the soles. Great. This little kid did not wear these much. Cute little. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. They're listed. Already on the top. Pulled everything out. No, I didn't pull these out. These are mine. And I am keeping these for myself. I'm going to wear these in Jamaica. Nine West. And they're just cute. Look at them. Look at these flats and how cute they are. Cute little simple little basic little flats. I'm keeping them for myself. I'm going to clean them up real good. And keep them for myself and keep them for myself because these are cute and they will be comfortable. So 
gonna get these Erevan, Erevan, uh, by New Balance. Let's see, Erevan by New Balance. Look at that piece of hair falling off, floating in the camera. But yeah, Erevan by New Balance. Just some cute little comfortable flesh. It also has the gel, I guess, for the person that had these, had the little gel in there. And these are size, size are these. Move this little thing off so I can see the size. And they're leather and they're size 10 and a half, 10 and a half A. So these are size 10 and a half, nice little comfortable Ervin Von by New Balance shoes. And I do have both of them. I don't think I've listed these yet. I haven't listed these yet. Try to get these listed tonight. Yeah. So they have cute, cute little shoes. And this scarf right here, which will also, will, I think this one's going to be on my pouch because I think this one was worth something. I can't remember. Let me find a little tag on it. Uh, or did I just think it was cute? Let me see. Trying to see if I can find a tag on it. Uh, there's no tag down there. Am I missing the tag? Yep, I'm missing the tag. Maybe I just bought it because I thought it was cute then. But I don't see any tag on this thing. I don't know. I guess so. Guess I did because I don't see a tag on it. And there's a hole, but that's, that's just because this thing's on it. Because I just thought it was cute. Oh, well. I guess I got it for myself. or got it to give to somebody or something. I don't know. I don't know why I got that. I have no clue. So that's that bag of shoes. That bag of goodies. And this is the last bag of this long, long haul. Yeah, you heard him. He's about to be in here in a second. When I finish this last bag, I'll have him in here so he can say bye to y'all. He was on here in the beginning. You missed him. So he'll be back on here because he's fussy, which means he wants to come back here with me. When he gets fussy with him, he wants to come back here with me. When he gets fussy with me, he wants to go to him. So, yeah. These little cute pumas are already listed. Little kids, size. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Cute, cute. And these are size 4C. Size 4C U.S cute little pink peach pinkest peach whatever color pumas it's very cute take uh, maybe that's why i got it i don't know what i got that for but I, maybe that's what i got it for it would be good for my fall tablescape now that you said that good idea thank you very much nana i'm gonna get that fall tablescape done before winter <laughs> i promise y'all it's gonna be done before winter look at these cute bands i just found some really cute bands this time look at them how cute are these little vans? Adorable. Adorable. Just like us. Just look at them. Look at that detail on these little cute vans. They just need to be cleaned off, which I'm going to clean these too when I get that oxy stick. But they're just really cute. And these are size seven women's. So these are women's. Size seven women's. Very adorable. I wish they were size nine and a half, ten my size, because I would keep these for myself. Yes, I would. But these are on my posh. Size seven women's. Three, I'll pay $3.99 for these as well. For these cute pants. For these adorable, adorable pants. Yeah, I found some good stuff. I found some good stuff, Nana. And then these shoes, I just thought they were different. Somebody might have a fashion, like people that love vintage stuff. I just thought they would like these. I don't think these are even vintage. They're Maurice's, but they're just in great shape. They probably been worn. Andre Stellar. I think that's what the brand is. Andre Stellar or something. Andre Geller. Andrew. Size nine mediums. And they're like a maroon, but they have just like shimmer. They change all kinds of maroon and good deals. And the same materials. Just done, done, done. I'm glad y'all back.
Hopefully y'all can stay till I say goodbye. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube playlist, wherever. Share, share, share. Get me out there, y'all. Get my subscribers up. We got baby Zane over here. Come on. Say, come on. Come on. Bring him, Laurel. So he can say bye to my subscribers. They've been hearing him in the background. Koji won't come here with me. He's all happy, smiling, trying to walk over. He's gonna be walking pretty soon. He walks around, he walks along the wall. Come on, Tika Butt. Come on, Tika Butt. So you can say bye bye to the people. Oh, get him off this. Why would you put him on my glass? I'm gonna let him kick it off the bed. That stuff is not cheap stuff. You gonna say bye, hey, and bye. Oh, you didn't bring me tissue. Where's my tissue that I have for him? Right here. Get that. Get the snot. He got a little cold and allergy, so we've been giving him mad a little natural honey medicine. It works pretty good for him. It, that your bad Kroger's natural honey bee or whatever it's called. Say hey! <laughs> Say hey! Wave to him. Wave at him. You gonna wave? You gonna wave? Say hey! Say hi. Say it's me. I'm here. I'm here. And it's not the weekend. I decided to keep him here a couple of days to medicine him up and get him feeling a little better. So I'm gonna take him back tomorrow night. Yeah. You gonna count? One, two. What's the last one? Yeah. See? One. Two. Yay! We taught him how to count to three. He loves saying three. One. See? Hear him? One, two, three. <laughs> Say, I just turned one and I can count to three. Woo, woo, woo. I'm a smart baby. I'm a smart baby. Yay! <laughs> they say, yay, yay. They happy for you because you can count to three and you just turn one. We're going to have a baby genius over here, y'all. Ain't we? You going to be a baby genius? Huh? <laughs> anyway, they say, good job, Zane. They say, good job. You going to say thank you? See, he's trying to get my stuff. He got to go. He got to go, y'all. He got to go. <laughs> but anyway, I thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up. Yeah, he is smarter than some adults. <laughs> Thumbs up the video as I said. Share, share, share. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Click, 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 click. Get to click and get to click and get to click. And I'm random. I do all kinds of stuff. But lately, I've been doing a lot of thrift stuff. But I'm switching it up. I did makeup the other day. I did a date night makeup look, and I think I did okay. If y'all didn't catch catch that, check it out. Y'all check out my date night makeup look video. I'm gonna try to do more of those. And okay, you about to go? Did you say bye bye? You say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye-bye. He won't say bye-bye. But anyway, I thank y'all for watching, my peoples. I love y'all. Thank y'all all for watching. And I will see y'all next time I do a live on somebody else's live. And be blessed and be a blessing, Team Random. If you ain't joined Team Random, what you waiting for? Join Team Random and click that bell over for notifications of when I'm live because I do a lot of live videos. And my makeup tutorial, date night makeup tutorial was even live. And I love y'all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Zane says bye bye. Good night. Y'all sleep tight and don't let the bad bugs bite. <laughs> bye, y'all.